This is question number 11. We're told the line y is equal to x plus 2 meets the curve x squared plus 4y squared minus 2x is equal to 35 at the points a and b as shown in figure 2. So we've got a here and b here. In part a for 6 marks we need to find the coordinates of a and the coordinates of b. So we're looking at simultaneous equations here. So if we call the first one equation 1, equation 1 we have y is equal to x plus 2. Equation 2, we have x squared plus 4y squared minus 2x is equal to 35. A couple of different choices here. I'm simply going to sub equation 1 into equation 2. So 1 into 2. If I do that, I'm going to end up now with x squared plus 4 lots of y squared. So that's going to be x plus 2 all squared minus 2x is equal to 35. By substituting equation 1 into equation 2, I've eliminated y from this quadratic. I'm going to have a quadratic equation in x. I'll solve for x and then plug back into equation 1 to find y. So we'll have x squared plus, if I expand this now, I'm going to have 4x squared this is going to give me 4x, so I'm going to have plus 16x. Then I'm going to have plus 4 times by 4, which is going to give me plus 16. Minus the 2x is equal to 35. You might want to show that you've expanded this, then multiply through by our 4. I'm just going to write it like so. So we've got 5x squared. We're going to have plus 14x. And then subtracting now the 35 on both sides, minus 19 is going to be equal to 0. This is going to factor. We're going to have 5x plus 19. And then we'll have x minus 1. And that's equal to 0. So we'll have x is going to be equal to 1. And we'll have that x will be equal to minus 19 over 5. So let's now consider the y-coordinates when x is 1 and x is minus 19 over 5. So when x is equal to 1, y is going to be equal to, from our linear equation, either here or up here, x plus 2. So y is going to be equal to 1 plus 2. So that now gives me the point 1, 3. We can see that's a, so we can say that a will have the coordinates 1, 3. If you want to write down here y is equal to 3, that's perfectly fine. So that now is going to give us a. I can say now when x, so when x is equal to minus 19 over 5, y is going to be equal to minus 19 over 5 plus 2. So we're going to have minus 19 over 5 plus the 2. I'm going to write this as 10 over 5. So we'll have y is equal to minus 9 over 5. So that gives me the point B, and we've got the point B, minus 19 over 5, comma, minus 9 over 5. And we can see from there that that looks pretty good, as we've got two positive coordinates for A, two negative coordinates for B. So six marks in total for solving the simultaneous equations. You could have eliminated x here. I eliminated y. It's entirely up to you. OK, in part b for three marks, we need to find the distance ab in the form r root 2, where r is a rational number. So all we're using is the distance formula. The distance formula is going to be the square root of x1 minus x2 squared. And then we're going to have plus y1 minus y2 squared. So what we can say then is that a, b will be equal to the square root. Now if we consider, we've got 1, 3, and we've got minus 19 over 5, comma, 9 over 5. So I'm going to have now x1, which is going to be 1, minus now the minus 19 over 5, and we need to square this. I'm then going to add to that the 3 minus the minus 9 over over 5, which we need to square. So AB is going to be equal to. Now I'm going to be adding this. So if we think about this now, adding these, I'm going to add these, and this is going to give me the square root 
of 24 over 5, which we need to square. If I look at this one, we're going to add now 9 fifths to 3. So again, that's going to give me 24 over 5, which we need to square. Now, if we do a quick trick here, we can write this as the root of 2 lots of 24 over 5 squared. Simplifying, we can say that AB will be equal to root 2 multiplied now by the root of 24 over 5 squared, which is just 24 over 5. Therefore, we need this in the form R root 2. We can say that AB is going to be 24 fifths root 2. So R is going to be 24 over 5, and that will give us the three marks. A few different approaches to that question. I think that's a fairly slick way of doing it. Again, it's open to lots of different approaches for the three marks, as is this one for six marks.